Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic audio and video related products. And firstly, I would like to thank everyone who subscribes to my channel and watches these videos. It means so much to me. I do this for fun. I earn a few pennies from uh, YouTube advertising, but nothing else. All the equipment uh, you see and I use, I've actually purchased. So I've got that one out of the way. Um, so today we're taking a look at a lens I recently purchased. It's not a new model. In fact, it's been around since September 2012. That's when it was introduced. And what we're talking about is the Sony 10 to 18. It's the APS-C lens, a constant aperture F4. That's what lens had. Um, and it's really, really compact. It's a really, really nice lens. Um, it's great sharpness and a great zoom range. It's 10 to 18. So that's about 15 to 30 in full frame terms. So with my Nikon Z6, I have the 15 to 30 lens. It's a much bigger lens. Um, this basically is an equivalent focal range, but you're not really losing a great deal of quality. I love the images that come off this 10 to 18. Um, it's got a nice zoom action. The actual barrel of the lens doesn't come out too far, as you can see there. It's quite, um, it's quite small. But then the zoom range is quite limited. So it's extreme wide to wide, really, is how I would describe it. Great for architecture, interiors, um, and uh, 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 scenery stuff, you know, landscapes and all this kind of stuff. Not really suitable for um, portraits because obviously it's a wide angle lens. It would also be great if you're into vlogging. I don't really do vlogging, but I will show you a vlogging clip so you can actually see how good the 10 to 18 is on a Sony APS-C camera, such as, well, any of them, really, the 6400, 6300, 6500, etc., etc. Um, the other nice thing with this lens, it has got optical steady shot or image stabilization. So if you're using it on a body, such as the A6100, the A6000, the 6400, and so forth, you've got a certain amount of image stabilization in the lens. It's not uh, amazing, but it will help you gain a couple of stops. So great if you're in low light, um, you know, um, or lower light, you can still get that lovely sharp image. The sharpness of this lens is great, you know, corner to corner, particularly if you stop down to say f5.6 or f8. I wouldn't really recommend stopping down any further than f8. Um, but uh, yeah, nice compact lens. You stick it on, say, the a6500, which is what I've got here. I'm actually filming uh, with two A6100s, uh, an A6500, which is the wide shot there. Um, and I've got an A60, uh, sorry, the ZV1 sort of looking over my shoulder over there. Um, so I'm big into the Sony ecosystem. I really like the Sony cameras. I like all cameras, to be honest. Um, so that's the lens fitted to the 6500. As you can see, very, very compact and Great if you are into vlogging, not the 6500 really, it hasn't got the flip screen. But you know, nice and compact, you wouldn't have to hold it out too far. But I will do a vlogging test so you can see what that looks like. Um, I'm just doing a quick vlogging test using the Sony 10-18. Um, and as you can see, it's really, really wide. And that's at the 10 mil end. Um, I can take that in tighter. Uh, so I can take that in, uh, where are we? I can take that in tighter like that. So that's now at the 18 mil, but I have to have my hand stretched out quite far and that can get quite uncomfortable after a period of time. Now, I'm, uh, the only image stabilization is what's on the lens. I'm using the A6100 and that hasn't got any image stabilization. So I'm best off just doing that, taking that back to wide. Um, that way is uh, for me, I don't have to hold the camera right out. So it's a great vlogging lens because it is adjustable between 10 and 18. Um, I doubt whether the image stabilization is great because I say the A6100 hasn't got built-in image stabilization. The sound is coming off my uh, little Rode microphone, a uh, little furry microphone you can see plugged in. And I've got an offset hot shoe versus offset from the camera. You might be able to see that in that shot, I don't know. Um, and it's great with a 6100 or the 6500 because it's got the flip up screen. I should be looking into the lens, but I don't really do vlogging. So this isn't a test of my vlogging skills. It's really just to show you how um, adaptable this lens is for vlogging. So I can take that in a bit, make that a bit tighter. 
uh, which is great but generally speaking with vlogging people want to see your surroundings don't they so you'd have that a bit wider and as I, say, I haven't got to hold the hand out too far um, also what I forgot to mention in the main review it isn't uh, it is a constant f4 aperture so for video it's great because it doesn't matter where you put the focus uh, sorry the zoom the aperture remains the same so um, it's not a variable aperture it's a constant aperture and that's uh, that's awesome so there we go that's the Sony 10 to 18 as a vlogging test in a very windy condition out in my garden it's pretty good when you're shooting into light you don't get a lot of flare with this lens either um, I, I'll go through a few sample images I'll also put my sample images up on my Flickr page. I know you guys and girls like to have a look at them. So uh, they'll be up on my Flickr page and then there you'll be able to see what cameras I've used and the apertures and shutter speeds and what have you. Um, but if we have a quick look now, you'll see that, um, you know, they are really, you know, it's a really sharp lens. Where's my mouse? No idea where my mouse is. There it is. Um, it's a really, really sharp lens, you know, corner to corner, uh, colours are great, um, it's, you know, really, 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 really good. Um, and the, the nice thing with it, you know, when I used to walk around with me Z6, and I'm not knocking the Z6, it's an amazing camera, and I've still got the Z6 6, um, it's an amazing camera, but this combination, be it on the 6500 or the 6600 or one of the other ones, um, that is so compact. And you could walk around all day and more and not feel fatigued or whatever. It's a great, great combo. Um, and as I say, you're not really sacrificing image quality. You know, image quality is outstanding with this lens. It's a great, it's a great all-rounder. If you're into wide angle, you know, um, and as I say, particularly for vlogging and for landscapes, particularly interiors, if you're into filming interiors. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's great. Bokeh, nothing special about the bokeh. Wide angle lenses are not really bokeh lenses. Um, you know, if you want great bokeh, you would need to get something like my uh, Sigma 56mm, which is doing the close-up shots on the A6100. Um, I'm not sure if I've got it set to f1.4, f2, what I've got it set to, can't remember. But you get lovely creamy bokeh in the background with that particular lens, because it's a 56mm portrait lens. That's about 85mm in full-frame terms. Um, but, you know, you can get bokeh. You can see in this image here, there is some bokeh in the background. So you can bring the foreground more into um, sharp view uh, to be more of a focus of what's going on in the in the shot but it's not really designed for that kind of thing and as I say it isn't a new lens it's been around for a long time um, since September 2012 so um, you know and it's the only one really in the sort of extreme wide that is available for the Sony e-mount system uh, certainly for the APS-C system, I've not seen any others, be it from Sigma or from, you know, Tamron. They all seem to be around the 16mm. Um, there's a lovely 16mm Sigma f1.4. I haven't got that lens and I've not tried it, but apparently that's a really good lens. But this goes right down to 10, so uh, which is 15 in full frame terms. Um, but yeah, there you go. You can see the images are great. I've got no complaints with the images. Really, really good. So there we go, that's the um, Sony 10 to 18. I will put, as I said, they will be going up on my Flickr page so you can actually see, you know, um, what the images are like. But uh, I just thought I'd do this quick video um, on, you know, this particular lens. And it is really, really light. The weight of it is, yeah, 225 grams. So, you know, with a lightweight body, you know, it makes it great as a walk around lens, doesn't it? And I think a great vlogging lens, you know. Um, yeah, that's the Sony 10 to 18. So there we go. Hope you found that useful. Take a look at my Flickr page, that would be great. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hit the like button if you like the content of this video. As I say, really, really appreciate it. It helps me grow the channel and um, I do it for fun. So uh, any likes and any subscribers is uh, great. And comments below are great as well. So thanks very much uh, and enjoy the rest of the channel. Cheers for now. Bye.